Hi, my name is Joe Poliak and I'm with Keller Williams Real Estate. The topic of this video is my third quarter San Mateo County real estate market update. The major trend that's still prevalent in the market today is chronically low inventory. For example, in 2016, there were 1,438 new homes that were listed in the third quarter and 672 homes left in inventory at the end of the quarter. In Q3 2017, there were 1,356 new homes that were listed for sale. That's a 6% drop from the previous year. At the end of Q3 2017, there were only 513 single family homes available for sale in all of San Mateo County. That's a 24% drop year over year. The drop in inventory in condos and townhomes is even more drastic. Q3 2016, there were a total of 472 new listings and 192 homes for sale at the end of the quarter. In Q3 2017, there were 410 new listings and 126 in inventory. That's a drop of 13% and 34% respectively. What makes these statistics even more remarkable is that we were already in a low inventory market last year. So far, 2017 is shaping up to be the lowest inventory market for at least the last 13 years, which is as far back as I could pull reliable MLS data. With the decrease in supply, the average days on market, which is how long a home is active in the MLS, from the time it was submitted to the time its status changed to sale pending, also went down from 27 days last year to 23 days in 2017 for single family homes. For condos, the average dropped from 22 days to 20 days on the market. In fact, in some cities such as Belmont, San Mateo, East Palo Alto, and El Granada, single family homes are on the market for an average of just two weeks or less. With less homes available for sale and high competition among buyers, prices have risen. At the end of Q3 2016, the average mean sales price was $1,651,000, while the median sales price was $1,300,000. Q3 2017, those numbers are $1,790,000 and $1,436,000. That is an 8% increase and a 10% increase year over year, respectively. The median price per square foot for single family homes has gone up 13% year over year from $783 to $882, while condos have gone up $673 to $719. That's a 7% increase. On the surface, these are fairly modest increases, but let's put them in perspective. In 2011, right around the bottom of the market, the average mean sales price of a home was $911,000 while the median sales price was $700,000. Prices have doubled in just six years. In Q3 2016, single family homes sold for 5% over asking price, while in Q3 2017, homes sold for 9% over their asking price. In Q3 2016, condos sold for 4% over the asking price, while in Q3 2017, condos sold for 5% over the asking price. So what does all this mean to you? If you're considering buying or selling a home, well, we are still in a seller's market. Although population growth has slowed a bit, tech companies and startups are still growing and still hiring. Well, this is bringing more buyers into the local housing market. Another factor that's contributing to the high demand is the increasing number of foreign buyers who are buying real estate in California. In fact, foreigners are buying homes in the United States at record rates. With interest rates for 30-year fixed mortgages still hovering around the 3.5 to 4% mark, it is still very enticing for buyers to take advantage of the cheap rates and buy a home. Over the long term, is 10 to 15% year-over-year growth in real estate value sustainable? Well, this is simply supply and demand. If people keep moving to the Bay Area who are making a lot of money and current homeowners refuse to move out of the area, well, then it will likely continue on this path. Low supply and high demand is currently the name of the game. Again, my name is Joe Poliak with Keller Williams Realty. And if you would like to get more data for specific neighborhoods or time periods, please contact me and I'll be more than happy to provide it for you. If you have any more questions or would like to learn more, you can visit my YouTube channel and watch other videos that I've made. You can also visit my website, joepoliak.com, and contact me directly. 
If you're thinking about buying a home, then please visit my buyers page where you can search for homes for sale. If you're considering selling your home, then please visit my sellers page where you can receive a free home value estimate.